Hey y'all, um, I don't know about you, but, um, for the last several months, and especially here lately, um, I've been feeling extremely heavy, um, like this darkness over my mind, and this warfare with within myself, and, um, I wanted to share with you something God showed me a long time ago, but he was bringing it back to my attention just because I feel like there is a shift taking place, um, a transition, and God's wanting to do something pretty amazing. So, in Exodus 19, it says, um, and Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of israel going down to verse 10 and the lord said unto moses go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day for the third day the Lord will come in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. And going down to verse 16. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount, and the voice of the, of the trumpet exceeding loud, so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. So first of all, we have to note that God is looking for a people to be set apart, to be sanctified. He's, I feel like we're in this period of time of he's telling us to wash ourselves, wash ourselves of Egypt. See, he told them that they needed to wash their clothes because they still look like Egypt, even though they came out of Egypt. They still had, um, I don't know if you've ever seen pictures or paintings of the Egyptians back in the day, but usually makeup on and adornment and all kinds of things he wanted that cleansed off and i feel like that's the process that's happening now um i know me and several others have felt this that god is cleansing the inner man he is purging the inner man to be in alignment and connection to him to be ready to see his glory to be ready to see his face and it says that when he descended, there was thunderings and lightnings and a thick cloud. I don't know about you, but when I think about seeing God, it, it, it doesn't look like a storm. It, it doesn't look dark and scary, but the reality is that's what it was. Sometimes our storms are simply God preparing to show himself. Um, when the disciples were on a boat by themselves, Jesus was up in the mountain praying. It was one of the darkest nights. There was a heavy storm. It was tossing the boat around, giant waves, rain, lightning, thunderings. And that's when Jesus walked upon the waters and he said, be of good cheer, it is I. But really he said, I am he, or I am meaning he said the same thing to Moses in the burning bush he said I am that I am he was letting the disciples know exactly who he was that he was God manifest in the flesh Jesus Christ and that's when Peter got the revelation he said thou art Jesus the son of God and this is the rock on which the church is built that the gates of hell could not prevail it's in this revelation it looks scary it seems heavy it seems dark I don't know about you but I've been feeling far away 
like just covered in this darkness and far away I can't hear I can't see what's going on just extremely discouraged but there's a shift taking place God wants to reveal his glory it says that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall dwell in the shadow of the Almighty in Psalms again it says that we are hidden in the thick clouds and darkness of him see what looks like thick clouds and darkness is him and covering us enveloping us with all that is him and it's in that place that the enemy's not gonna see or hear us we're gonna get a plan of God and he's gonna send us out with a mission that not even the enemy can hear or see and we're gonna be clothed in his glory so then when the enemy does see us when we come back out like Moses when he went up into the mountain and he came back down he was radiating with God's glory his face literally illuminated I don't know if our face will literally shine but there's gonna be a essence a presence that's, that's enveloping us that's simply God and nothing else but God equips us to endure the storm it says um, that he bore us on eagles wings I don't know if you know much about eagles but um, I saw something once and it stuck out to me um, most birds most animals when a storm's rolling in they take shelter they hide they find a place for cover an eagle will fly into the storm an eagle will use the mighty winds of the storm to soar higher and higher and higher until it's above the storm above the thick clouds so below all you see is darkness all you see is thick clouds rain winds but above it's soaring in this magnificent light and peace and that's what Moses did he climbed the mountain those who wait upon the Lord shall or knew their strength they shall soar on wings of eagles if we are vigilant if we are sober if we wait if we stay firm and planted even if you don't feel it if you, even if you don't feel like giving up just come just show up just get get to that place of prayer just surrender yourself your all submit yourself to him make him your God your Lord let him reign wash yourself of Egypt it says search me oh God try me see if there's any wrong way in me hurtful way in me cleanse me purge me of it create in me a clean heart Lord and renew a steadfast spirit in me just keep bringing yourself and waiting because that's using your wings for the wind that's using your wings to soar higher and higher and God is going to reveal himself his glory is going to be revealed and he's gonna do something unlike we haven't seen before because it's the time of the former and latter rain and I want to be I want to be in position I want to be in that place I want to say Lord rid me of all this junk rid me of Darian rid, rid me of unforgiveness uh, rid me of bitterness rid me of resentment rid me of gossip backbiting rid me of rejection rid me of these wounds bind me up with all that you are envelop me with your righteousness <laughs> envelop me with your garments of praise your royal apparel I want to die to me I want to pour out my soul that you can fill me up with those living waters flowing and gushing out of me that when people look at us they see Jesus Christ because that's what we're gonna need in this end time so don't give up keep pushing <laughs>